terms of Calabari, what are they expecting from you if you eventually um, win this election? God willing, we eventually get to the seat. You know, as I said, my emergence to be the candidate as the material candidate for my people is not is as a result of you know passion. So we are proposing three agendas Edu is, education, employment, and entrepreneurship. Because this to we to, to, to us this is the pivot that every society uses to get off poverty. You cannot effect or bring people out of poverty without encouraging SMEs, without promoting small and uh, small and medium businesses. There is no way, it's not done anywhere in the world. China spent billions on bringing people out of poverty through promotion of SMEs. The this, this phone you use, Samsung, is a private company but backed by the Chinese government. Why I'm always referring to the Calabarese? Why, as a governor, you are, we are supposed to talk about river states, mm. but this is Calabari TV. That is why I'm always you know, taking your mind to mm. the Calabari. Yes, it's Calabari TV. Calabari is, is in the society and it's, it's covered by river state. We always, in anything we do, we should have reference. Where are we referencing to? We are trying to I'm trying to tell you where the Calabari should be at this point. This is example of what somebody has done you know, at this point. And, for example, Boni, in record, has celebrated what one, 21 years of no season of light. They, 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 they control about 180 megawatts. This should also be effective in Calabar. What is the difference? It should also be effective in Calabar. So the youths, our position is to see how to increase and develop you know, the Calabar youth in terms of education. And education does not also, also just mean going to the four walls of the school. You know what we are in the media, we are in this um, um, platform right now. You train people how to use most of these things. People should be able to learn how to do people should be learning how to create shoes, create things. You can educate them as a skill. Outside that the ones that want to still go to school, we send them to school. There are schools even even outside the country. There are schools you don't pay, you know, millions of naira as we can in Europe. You send the Calabari sons and daughters to such places to develop themselves, to establish, and then we come back. You know the good thing about us is if we send somebody to Germany, he will learn Germany and learn the school. So when he comes there, he's coming there with two things, education and a new language. Okay, what has your party done for the Calabari maybe in the past, before now? Our party came as a result of the NSAS movement. The party is just five years and a few months. So, I am actually the leader of the party in River State. So we are just beginning to do and reach out to the Calabari youths. You know, by God's grace, we are going to still be in Apodema where I come from, you know, sometime this week, you know, to see how we can do the little that we are, you know, we are able to do and all that. YPP is a new party in River State and it's a party that represents the youths. If you can see, I'm a very young person. I know that this is my first time being in politics and this is my first time, but it does not stop, you understand, anything. Because everybody started with the first beginning and all that. God, the Bible said, in the beginning, God created. So in the beginning, there's a, there's a lot of creation that should be done. There's a lot of things that should be done. So Calabari people should expect the best. Calabari people should expect that. I mean, you, I know what they are feeling. I know what, what it is you know, to be without job not to go to school, not to have a business. You go to Abunima most times, for example, you see some a, a shop, you know, the, maybe the lady is selling a small, uh, she has a small provision shop that she started with her business. And you find out that maybe the, her husband is not really, is, he was doing well, but he's not now doing well because of the economy has affected him. And then she will begin to, you know, take from that, the profit she's making from her shop to assist the house, to assist the family. Before you know, she has entered her capital. And she's not as a, so if she's supposed to buy two cartons of milk, you go in the next uh, two, three, four months or six months, she has bought only one. Before you know, she has bought only 12 dozen, hanging them in spaces on the, on the shelf. That is because the government is not supporting the Calabar people. The government is not making sure that, by right, the government should be able to say, oh, who are all the businesses in the Calabar region? What are you doing? Okay, government say, take 10 million naira. In 10 years, pay us 11.5. What will you do with 10 million naira? You will increase that your stock. 
you expand it and you employ two or three other persons in that place. You have taken three people or three or four Calabari children out of poverty because you have not put them in your store. They are learning in trade. They are learning something. And in 10 years, you should be able to pay. 10 years is a long time. You need to encourage the Calabari people. They are very smart people. They are strong people. The, if you see the, the strength that they put in most of the, uh, during the military agitation and all that, you will know that these people should just be, why can't we create those coast guards? Okay, how truth is it that many people say that uh, many candidates, they are out for their own self interest How truth is it? Well, well basically, every, it, it depends on, everybody knows himself. You understand? Everybody knows himself and what he wants to do. I'm not desperate to be a governor. It's not, it's not a do or die affair. You see, King Saul in the Bible, the people said, King Saul has killed a thousand men. They said David has killed tens of thousands of uh, men. They were now chanting over David. In Exodus, what am I saying? If you're desperate to be a governor, you will step on people, you will scheme, you will tell lies, you will do money, you will deceive the youth. You put money in and try to see how to buy the conscience of the youth. You will do all manner of things. But if you're desperate about the people, the people will make you their governor. That's why they shouted, David has killed tens of thousands of people. They chanted for David and that made Saul jealous. So my own is about how the Calabari people can stand on these three angles, education, employment, and entrepreneurship. Believe me, in less than four years, you will not you 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 will not realize how the Calabari people will change. Okay. Um, what's your advice for the youth concerning the forthcoming election? Concerning the forthcoming, I advise the Calabari youth, the Calabari body, to come together because there's this um, movement which we, the YPP project, is called Save Yourself. What it means is that if you save yourself, I save myself. We will save ourselves. We know where the Calabari the situation and position is right now. So everybody should be able to vote the right person. I'm not the best. I have my own flaws. I have my own uh, capacity. Everybody, everybody has his and all that. But let the conscience of the Calabari people make, encourage them, push them to put the right person that will lead the Calabari. Not people that would have told them stories. But the right person that will push and make the Calabari an industrial place that it ought to be. A fishing trawling business is a $2.5 billion industry. Calabari cannot export one. Meanwhile, in the river right where we are in this Calabari region, we have over 270 species of fish. If we're expecting, if we're only harvesting 50% of that, we know where the Calabari people are. What is there to buy boats and train our fishermen and put them in line? Calabari has large deposit of oyster. In 2022, France exported the largest amount of oyster of $88.1 million. We have large deposit of shrimp. In fact, by 20, in 2020, shrimp, the, market, the global market size of shrimp was $54.470 million. It was actually projected that by 2028 it will be $74.850 billion. Imagine Calabari produces is supplying only 20% of that shrimp market that we have. It will be $74.something million plus converted to Naira is something billion Naira. Imagine the investment and how busy the Calabari sector will be. But we cannot do why. It's not by being big or being in money, it's by capacity. Is by knowledge. So I'm urging the youths of Calabari, if paraventure they have to choose, they should look for the look for someone that has credibility, that has knowledge, that is ready, not talking, that is ready, not buying them with money, but that is ready to promote the Calabari cause. Because I see if you want to know whether they have been promoting the Calabari cause, they share money. They share money in the community. They give all oh, this, this, they buy rice. So, all those things are... It, 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 they don't make sense to me. Why can't we do something if the big people in Calabari come together and say, let's bring this industry in this place and all that. You don't need to share money to that man. There's great institutions, not individuals. Calabari has come to a point where we should have institutions that even when those individuals, they are big men, 
great politicians who has died and passed away. Calabar is still remaining empty. Imagine that they are, they are in, they, they've industrialized it, that Calabar region with four to five major industries and other. Even if they pass away, children, children will come, we work there, we go get old, we retire, other children will come because it is an everlasting institution. Thank you very much.